guys welcome to this session of direct talks feed abid hasan this is first session of direct talks and we have abid hasan ceo and co-founder of sensible and also a part time stand up comedian on twitter and some social media websites hey abid thank you thank you for joining us here on sunday hey thanks garo it's so nice to meet you again i've been like an ardent follower of you too on quora so it's it's, it's nice to be here <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so i mean this this would be a very free willing session uh, this will be like we'll yeah. talking about options uh, how, how has been your journey in options and with sensible and yeah. meanwhile we'll also be taking some questions live from our audience so we'll make it pretty yeah, interactive yeah. more rather than a normal interview sort of interaction so i think first yeah. would be your intro introduction and how did you come into uh, options trading and how has been your journey since since being here as a full time trader <laughs> all right i'll do that uh, uh okay so i just changed my camera setting to hd i don't i hope it doesn't affect anything uh, that's okay yeah. and i'm guessing that uh, when i speak i'm on showcase and like all of that is taking right so yeah, yeah. Huh, introduction to options dude i had no plans to trade options okay for legit like like when i went to second year of college my plan was ki boss ye finance finance nahi karenge i'm not going to do finance i'm not going to do banking because i did two years two two months of internship uh, with city bank in investment banking and i realized that ki boss uh, <coughs> investment banking is a glorified name for uh, 25 year olds uh, spending uh, time in office till 1:30 in the night uh, reading uh, <coughs> ppt's uh, doc word documents and excel right and eventually they become promoted and in their promotion their role is making other 25 year, old, year olds do ppt's excel and <laughs> word docs so <laughs> i was ready to say boss nahi karenge um so i thought ki okay maybe i should do some marketing marketing and you know do something nice so uh, Uh, and a legit story okay i kid you not like i wanted to get into some marketing company but of course i was a fresher with a computer science degree and all my uh, electives in finance so nobody would pick me right uh, and i have tried many ideas to get into companies in fact i tried so many template interviews to get into marketing roles ki boss marketing is my life calling marketing a marketing go nothing worked right eventually i my last interview in marketing was cadbury right? and cadbury had guys had come to iim uh, right and they asked me ki why do you want to join cadbury I said, the joy on the faces of children when they eat dairy milk chocolate—that is what I love. <laughs> and then I took a pause. And then I looked at the room. And I asked him, "Okay, did it work?" He's like, "No." Man. I'm like, "Okay, fine." <laughs> so, so then finally I had no choice but to you know sit for oil finance company. But in 2008-9, uh, Lehman had collapsed. Like Lehman, AIG, all these yeah. boys had gambled and become bankrupt. Now. uh so and uh, when i i wrote to my ex internship boss in city ki boss you know ppo kuch milega kya i mean replacement offer he is like beta pura desk fire ho gaya aur tum ppo ki baat kar rahe ho kai aur dekh lo apna apna so, so, yeah, there is fire everywhere right and uh, so <laughs> luckily for us uh, uh, the uh, i am abdullah's director um was a board member uh, or advisor or something in rbi or something right and rbi had a trading division called stci right or Okay. Uh, and these boys came to campus and they decided ki okay we are going to hire all of these boys uh, right and uh, interestingly they had set up an interview and um, you know as usual they ask uh, ki boss uh, why do you want to do trading shady and i had already made up my mind ki boss i don't want to do trading shady right and uh, so i went into the interview then uh, there was this uh, person called pradeep madhav pradeep madhav was the uh, head of uh, the company i mean md and ceo and chairman and he was also like a very big name in fixed income markets back in day so he asked me beta why do you want to trade i'm like i don't want to trade i am I'm, i'm purposefully tanking the interview okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm okay. jaan bujh ke i'm like i'm i mere ko to fail hona hai because then i'll go to another marketing company right so i said i i don't think i can trade he like why do you think you can't trade i'm like see it's a it's a probability game i have never traded in my life it is very presumptuous and you know egotistic of me to say that i can trade With, with, without zero experience i am not going to commit such a thing in front of people who are all traders i am not so he's like hmm, interesting so would you do you think you will become a good trader i'm like no no i don't think i'll become a good trader right because i have never <laughs> done, done done trading right like i am skeptical about if i am good or bad at something which i have never done in my life before and that is just healthy skepticism like, like are you motivated by trading i'm like no 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 motivation and he's like This yehi chahiye apne ko. This is the kind of <laughs> attitude we want to see in a young person who is skeptical of himself, who has self doubt, who will think twice before taking a trade and put doubt of mind in his mind that okay maybe I am wrong. 
इसको लेते हैं बस एंड आई लाइक ओ माय एंड आई एम नॉट किडिंग ओके दिस लेजिट हैपेंड दिस रियली हैपेंड लाइक लाइक यू कैन गो बैक टू माय बैचमेट्स एंड ऑल एंड आई केम आउट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू रूम एंड आई टोल्ड पीपल बॉस दिस लेस एंड आई वांट टू थैंक दैट इंटरव्यू दीस गाइस आर टेकिंग मी राइट एंड एंड आई एंड अप इन ट्रेडिंग राइट सो सो आई जस्ट ऐड वन थिंग सो इफ यू वांट टू बी अ गुड ट्रेडर have that thing that you can't trade you have that yeah. mindset that you can't trade <laughs> like oh, all oh, the good traders point. Yeah. I mean, all the good traders I know, right? In their mind, they always doubt that, "Hey, boss, maybe I'm wrong. What will happen?" Right? And that's a healthy skepticism. Right? I think, I think it took me some more time to understand what he truly meant, right? Because those people who are boss, today they are going to run away, right? That dude always you know, ends up in a bad story. But um, the people who are always thinking, "What if I'm wrong? What do I do?" They generally have long-term goals mm-hmm. of becoming better traders. So, so yeah, I suppose um, I, I think that's what he that's meant. What hubris. Yeah, yeah that's not that. hubris because. <laughs> but then, but then, you know, three months later, uh, when I was twenty-five, he put me in front of a trading screen. You know, I think it was mm-hmm. August of two thousand nine or something. And after twelve hours, I mean, after six hours of, I mean, six nine o'clock bond market start, five o'clock it ends. Eight hours of trading. Okay. I come out of this thing. I'm like, boss, this is the most fun video game I've played in my mind. <laughs> in my entire <laughs> life, it is nothing better. <laughs> it is amazing. Right? And I'm like, kid, dude, like, so, and and. you know i have a slight gambling problem in the sense that i'm into a lot of cards and anything which involves like you know something uncertain popping up I, when i was in college i used to quiz yeah. and my favorite thing was hitting the buzzer i'm like boss this is same adrenaline rush as the buzzer it's just that it's on massive steroids let's do this in fact it's so bad that i gave up every hobby i had once i got that first day kick right it's like you try it once okay. you don't want to try anything else again and i'm like okay i'm going to do this thing so this is how it started <laughs> so this was stci so from yeah. stci from bond markets i think you went to icici later right from yeah, yeah. your rbi desk yeah. you went to a bank right you went to icici yeah, yeah. and doing forex yeah. so you were trading dollars and i think you were trading us the inr right? yeah, this is yeah. fx dollar pound sterling no not inr inr was done in icici okay. bombay bkc office this was an scc okay. office which only dealt with foreign currencies exotic options and stuff like that so basically okay. pound, pound sterling dollar all the gcn currencies Right. Okay. I mean, even more better for gambling addicts because market starts at Tokyo and ends in London. So, from <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. to Tokyo to London. <laughs> so from yeah, here, I think like, from time. RBI bonds. Yeah. So bonds to yeah, yeah, FX to now you're trading Nifty Bank Nifty is what I'm seeing your views everywhere and I think I wanted to ask this question. I wanted to start the show by asking, Hi Abhijit, kya lag raha hai market? Because that's been the thing I've been asking everyone. So how did you come yeah, from? Uh, Bonds to yeah. My question was bonds yeah, to what? FX to what? Nifty and bank Nifty. How did we, that journey come up? Yeah, honest answer to that is um, uh, so I was trading bonds for a while, and uh, you know. See, I'm not particularly proud of it, but when you're 25, you are like a jerk, right? Everybody is a jerk when they are 25, right? And at 25, I was no better, right? So. Yeah. As ironic as it may seem, I picked up a fight with uh, this very same person who hired me uh, when I was in co- college, and I don't even know why, right? Because I was I was like a freaking intern at that time, and uh, for some reason, I don't even know why that happened, right? Because was, all of these guys were very nice, right? I think I was very headstrong. You know, you trade, 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 trade. This is the right way to trade, blah blah blah, and uh, so eventually it became like a huge rift, and. Uh, Things became a little unpleasant. All my fault, of course, my fault, right? At twenty-five, you're like the angry okay. kid, right? So eventually, I yeah. had to kind of quit the company, right? So, <laughs> so okay. This is two thousand nine December. Okay, job market is at its rock bottom, and I'm thinking, "Ki boss, I'm quit karenge," right? Uh, and then I realized, "Ki okay, jobs to hai nahi two thousand nine me." And uh, for four months, I was like, probably, uh, you know, proper unemployed. Uh, which is four yeah. months where i picked up a lot of other side things i started teaching for in part time i learned poker which is probably the biggest uh, passion i have in my life uh, maybe okay. even a notch stuff to compare trading and that but uh, i'm not particularly proud that two of my top passions involve gambling but okay <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> okay. so i then um, uh, sat at home for four, four months luckily for me um, Hmm. I knew people in ICICI system who were good traders, right? And uh, okay. uh, they kind of knew that okay, it's co option at all, right? So what they did is a couple of them informally uh, talk to me to kind of assess key if I know options or not. Then they put me in touch with the uh, person who was heading all of ICICI, ICICI banks, uh, interbank global markets okay. back in the days, 
and uh, he did i think was what was the toughest options greeks interviews i ever faced i think i'll tie icici oh. banks options interview at par with deutsche banks options interview which also i attended at some point of my life and then um, okay so this happened right? and i i was happy to take any job at that time and this was also nice because uh, icic bank had a really big team at that time for uh, overseas options really mm-hmm. the book was roughly 500 million okay. plus 200 1 billion usd and learning experience was tremendous right and everybody says this icic bank is the best place to learn if you want to truly learn something because icic gives you tremendous responsibility right uh, the bank uh, ka jmg obu team was huge like very nice people supportive people uh, it was like a small team five six people team but between five six people team they mm-hmm. managed all of the banks uh, cross currency exposure right and uh, okay super guys uh, so i thought ki okay this is the best place to learn because eventually karna the video game here now let's uh, learn <laughs> <laughs> let's so go for my question here abhin so yeah. you you were also guys uh, he's not promoting icici is just a normal impromptu thing we are on icici yeah. handle by the way so people so i'm think promoting that. back i'm not promoting direct so it's okay <laughs> okay <laughs> the same group so abhin uh, you were handling one of the biggest books like at icici right so i think you asking you is the yeah. option trading mein what were your targets for a year like what would be an ideal profit like a good profit number for somebody to achieve in a year because you know these days uh, 100x 200x 300x is what would, is common on twitter and everywhere so you had been at the with the big boys with the main people so what was what is the target for someone to achieve in a year with respect to profits so so here's the thing right um uh i've generally seen right so there are also hft boys who double their money every year right like one of my uh, ex flat like my ex boss used to be the one of the first 10 people in tower research right tower research when they started hft mm-hmm. back in the days he was one of the first 10 people to go to tower research he was like uh, iit kanpur i was je rank 16 and then he went to up and stud boy proper stud boy uh, like he literally started hft in tower research with 10000 dollars and eventually when he was existing exiting tower research to start his own company that uh, desk was doing 1 billion dollar right so there are stories like yes. that but realistically yeah. here i have been in a prop firm prop desk right uh, most of them were incredibly happy with 30 to 40% return a year um like on margin right 30 to 40% okay. a return is all these guys wanted from their large books and i am talking about books at least 100 crores or above right so see it's very easy to so i i can if you give me 30 lakhs right now um uh, i can probably give you i mean if i am full time into this i can probably give you 60 lakhs next year but you should not give me 30 lakhs because it is illegal as per sebi guideline to give your yes. money to somebody else to manage if you know what i mean <laughs> but but you should yeah. not <laughs> but technically i mean technically even even last year right i think i was trading for fun i, I started with some 20l made some 20l and i said okay done i'm by by i don't have time for that but i did it out of fun right because mostly like uh, last year i was generally bored because uh sensible was thought out on autopilot we are not doing anything new and we were winding down an advice okay. so i thought ki chalo six months trade karenge so i did that uh, you know ek is din mein paisa double scheme but you can do that with small capital <laughs> right and yeah. you can also do this because i i practically did not care about the money because again right when i was 25 years old your parent company put me in charge of a 500 million book and made me play a video game with such big numbers i have no concept of money anymore right i when people say million million and i'm like ha huh, that number on the bottom right right i don't look at it as a house or a car or anything yes. i i like basically exactly. my game wearing is totally screwed right but um, to answer your question if you're trading a small account and you're being in charge of big accounts and you know how to look at numbers as just numbers and not as objects right you can do several things hmm. but if you are doing something which is big let's say if you're an institution trading 100 crores or if you're an individual tra- trading 1 crore which means something to you right hmm. um, then yeah. i mean if ambani trades 1 crores he will be like yaar bachcho ko diwali ka mithai ke liye expense i don't care make it you know 100x right but but if you are a normal person like you and me 1 crore means something right and if you are trading yeah. with anything significant i think your target should be anything 30 40% a year you should be very happy and you have to understand that every time you di- dial it up a few notches right your risks and i mean i this an example i give right if you drive at highway uh, at 80 km per hour right uh, versus you drive on a highway at 160 km per hour the risk is not double right 
because even physics wise it is half mv square so it is roughly four times right yes, so, but absolutely <laughs> but but in in trading when you're going from 30 percent to 60 percent your risk of drawdown is not going from 15 percent to 30 percent your risk of drawdown is probably going from 60 percent to 70 percent 100 percent or anything right so yeah i'd say 30 percent for 30 40 percent a year you should be extremely happy doing that okay so even if for like viewers were watching us, this guy has been trading post like right out of his B school, has traded with big boys. He's saying 30 per 30 to 40 percent profit is a good number for someone. So next thing, next like after profits, I'm gonna ask you this question: how much drawdown drawdown is too much drawdown? Because that is the other part you have yeah. to associate with profits. Right? This, is a, this is a very because you know we can see the yeah, have... stories that people are blowing hundred percent of their accounts, sixty percent and whatnot. So what has been your thing yeah. with regards to drawdown? See, I, there are two ways to answer this question, right? Um, yeah. One is drawdown is what you're comfortable with. Number one, right? So for example, if I am in a learning phase and I'm like, again, 30, 40%, it might look very small. I mean, return might very, look very small to you when you're trading 1 lakh, 2 lakh, because you have to make 30,000. If you have to make 30,000, then you have to make Zomato delivery on Saturday, you'll get it. Right? But, <laughs> For real, dude, I'm not kidding. For real, will jaga, right? It's it's fine. It's With all fine. due respect. With all due respect, dude, I like I yeah. like I survived 2020, 2021 because of the Zomato guys, right? My I have incredible respect for keeping for to them for keeping the economy alive. I have incredible. I mean, like all of me, my friends, all of them turn on default 30, 50, 50 me. Zomato every time, right? But I'm saying that at, at 30,000 rupees, and I'm I'm not uh, saying this as a uh, derogatory statement, but I'm saying this as a uh, very example of a low paying job which involves hardships, right? Because in mm -hmm. India, uh, labor is systematically exploited because of our wage inflation mechanism. I mean, generally, right? We are a poor country. Let's face it. One person, people are very rich, but everybody else is, you know, it's, it's sad. Like in US, if you go and you have to clean your house on a weekend, you have to pay $100, $150 to, for one session of cleaning. And here we pay just 3K, 4K to people who come to help us at house, right? So that's unfair. And I'm, I'm illustrating it as an example of an unfair job. So if you do that, yeah. you can still make 30K a year, right? So when you're targeting 30, 40% return mm -hmm. on 1L capital, right? Although it seems small, the objective there is not really to make 30, 40% return money. It is to learn how to make 30, 40% so that you can replicate it on a 1 crore or 2 crore portfolio later, right? And now coming back to your question on drawdown again, right? If you're trading with 1 lakh, Right. And if you are experimenting a lot of things, right, you can blow it up all day. It's it's fine. At the age of 25, I have drawn up 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 1 lakh, 4 lakh so many times. I've been fine because, you know, largely uh, I knew that, okay, after a particular point in my life, my income would be more than what I blow up. So it's fine. Right. Uh, so, but then the point is, I'm doing a drawdown just to experiment, learn, and knowing that I'm going to blow up, blow this up for XYZ, right? But once I start serious capital, let's say I'm managing um, something which meant something to me. Let's say a few years back, I'm, I'm, I was managing 30, let's say, right? My money, I wouldn't want to draw down anything more than 20, 30% on that because of two reasons. One, if you're doing a serious game and then you're drawing down more than 20, 30%, you're probably playing the wrong game, right? Because like basically your risk meter has gone somewhere very high, right? And yeah. if you lose significant money, it's not like you can replenish it, right? As a new ki Airtel ka mobile phone hai ki aap recharge karte rahoge ek bar kam kam hone pe, right? So that doesn't happen, right? You have to bring the money. Like of course, fifty k gaya ek aur bar fifty k leke aayenge ya kya hai, right? But if you're managing serious money, you cannot draw down one something you cannot afford to lose, right? So you have to be very clear. Yeah. What is that number you can afford to lose? That should be your drawdown. <clears throat> the second thing, of course, is that regardless of what is your <clears throat> ability to take losses, right? Let's say you are a dude with like 30 crore, 40 crore in your <clears throat> ancestral wealth, right? And you yeah. can say that boss, I can blow up, you know, <clears throat> like I can trade with one crore account and blow up one crore. I don't care. Boss, nee, that is not true. If you're trading with one crore account and you're blowing up one crore, I know you can take it, but you're also a bad trader, right? So don't trade <coughs> unless you're a good trader it doesn't matter how much is your appetite and all right <coughs> and you don't you can't say ki boss lekin mai wapas le liya. you can you can of course get lucky buying options for something and recover it all right but that's you have to understand that you're just getting lucky uh, i would say that if even even from a very you know basic 101 point of view 
if your annual return is 30% and if your drawdown is like more than 50% because you are playing the game wrong. Because if your first year drawdown happens to be 50%, let's say, right? So one yes. key you started with one crore and your strategy has a drawdown of 50%. You lost 50% in one year, right? Now the next two years you're making only 30%. So then, uh, I mean, 50 into 1.3 into 1.3, 1.3 into 1.3 is roughly 1.7. 116, 116. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. you, won't, you won't recover exactly. the money in two years. <clears throat> so I'm generally uncomfortable with any strategy that has a lower draw, I mean, higher drawdown than your um, reward profile, because our profile. one is something you try for. Uh, but even despite all of that, the most important number in drawdown is drawdown cannot be a number which you are uncomfortable going to sleep with. That is the main thing. Main thing. Uh, Abit, uh, we have our Hindi viewers as well, so we'll try to mix it. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's mix it. Hamne Hindi chat Hindi mein varta lab karne ki koshish karenge. So, ye ho gaya. Aapka pehle to profit aap dekh lo ki realistic profit aapka 30 se 40 percent banta hai. Matlab. वो भी आई थिंक हर कोई 30 से 40 परसेंट हर साल नहीं बना पा रहे मतलब कुछ लोग होते हैं जो 18 परसेंट 20 परसेंट पे भी आ रहे हैं 40 परसेंट इज लाइक वो सबसे हायर ऊपर वाले जो एकदम स्मैश कर रहे हैं सूर्य कुमार यादव ने हाँ स्मैश करने वाले सी कभी कभी आपको सी अगर आप कंसिस्टेंटली रन बॉल बनाएंगे एक दो चौका चक्का लग जाता है राइट बट रन बॉल काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है तो क्या थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट इज ओके कभी कभी यू गैव अ वेरी गुड ईयर मे बी यू मेक फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट but target ye nahi hona chahiye ki aaj 21 din mein paisa double nahi wo wo ye isliye kyunki hamare jo retailers hai matlab aap bhi ek you are also running your own firm sensible main thing aapka wo ye ki main abhi jo aapka view aa raha hai is to help the retailers because sabse zyada jo paisa lose kar raha hai wo retailers hai jinko aata hai unko pata hai isliye next question ye hai ki agar koi retailer trading mein aana chahta hai usko full time trading karna hai because Abhi, post covid this has been a new fad that people want to make money via trading or alag alag jage pe beaches pe baith ke laptop dikha ke trade karna hai to wo ek aur pull kar raha hai gen z ko 25 year olds ko to agar kisi ko full time trading job lena hai to what is the minimum capital matlab usko kitne capital ke sath aana chahiye kyunki abhi humne 1 lakh pe baat kar liya 30 lakh pe baat kar diya but ideally agar abid main agar 30 year old abid se baat kar raha hu jisne decide kiya ki ab main full time trading mein ja raha hu so what will be the yeah. psychology aap kaise usko like how will you face it matlab aap kaise usko leke jaoge apne trading career mein aake ye maine ek bar ek calculation dekha hai talaif mein main ek bar fir se aapko bataunga ye calculation theek hai to realistically you can see my screen right excel sheet ha aapko dikh raha hai na ek excel sheet ha presentation okay to एक एक चीज अपने को क्लियर है कि बॉस 30 40 परसेंट ही रिटर्न टारगेट करें जेनरस बोलूंगा मैं 40 परसेंट रिटर्न टारगेट करते हैं ठीक है तो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अ कैपिटल ऑफ 10 लाख राइट आई विल जस्ट इंक्रीज माय फॉन्ट साइज एकदम बड़ा बड़ा तो 18 का फॉन्ट साइज रख दिया नहीं यार चलो 26 26 का रख दिया फॉन्ट साइज ठीक है आपका कैपिटल मान लीजिए है 10 लाख ओके 10 लाख का कैपिटल 10 लाख कैपिटल डिसेंट लग रहा है आपको कितने वाले चार लाख चार लाख अब आपको टैक्स तो देना पड़ेगा तीस परसेंट एस टी सी परसेंट सो पोस्ट टैक्स अब इसका कितना हुआ इन टू पॉइंट सेवन 0.7 अब कित, कितने बने 2.8 लाख दो लाख अस्सी हजार टू पॉइंट एट दो लाख अस्सी हजार अब मंथली कितना हुआ इसका एक्स्ट्रा दस लाख ट्रेडिंग कैपिटल से अब मंथ का पच्चीस हजार बराबर अब मैं इसको थोड़ा चेक करूंगा और एक लाख का दिखाऊंगा एक लाख अगर कैपिटल ट्रेड कर रहे हो तो आप महीने का पोस्ट टैक्स सिर्फ और सिर्फ दो हजार रुपए बना रहे हो और ये जब आप रेगुलरली फोर्टी परसेंट रिटर्न दे रहे हो कंडीशंस अप्लाई फोर्टी परसेंट रिटर्न दे रहे हो वो बहुत कम लोग लेके आते हैं ठीक है मेजोरिटी लोग तो लूटते वो हम बाद में बात करेंगे क्यों लूटते तो जरूरी नहीं है कि आप, आपका पैसा जाए, जाएगा दस वे टू ट्रेड इन वे की आप पैसा बनाओगे 
बट उस वो अपन मतलब दस दस मिनट के बाद डिस्कस करेंगे वो क्या प्रॉब्लम है बट लास्ट एग्जैक्टली आप अगर एक लाख रुपए से ट्रेड करते हो और चालीस हजार रुपए आप रिटर्न लेके आते हो साल का तो पोस्ट टैक्स आपका अट्ठाईस हजार और महीने का दो हजार राइट यार बराबर ये मैं सब सबसे बोलता हूँ आपको अगर मंथली एक्स्ट्रा टू थाउजेंड चाहिए यार आप अपने रिपोर्टिंग मैनेजर के पास जाओ और रेस पूछो वो बंदा शायद आपको बीस भी रेस दे दे राइट बिकॉज एनी कंपनी यार साल का दो तीन लाख तो ऐसे ही एक्स्ट्रा दे देता है इवन एट एन एंट्री लेवल राइट लेट से यू आर फ्रेशर reporting on sales operation support anything right most people will be happy to give you that extra tool i i know this because we do that in our company right and uh, okay you can make 20k extra just by doing a better work on your job like focus a little bit more on your job do an hour extra work do a really good job you know <coughs> become the top of yes. your company if your objective is paisa banana boss bana paoge right so then hmm. aap you boss tab to trading bandi karo so i'll tell you what ki agar aapka maksad paisa bana raha hai और आप सोचते हैं कि पार्ट टाइम में थोड़ा पैसा बना के निकल जाएंगे वो नहीं हो उसके लिए बेटर जॉब है कि आप अपने बॉस के पास जाओ बोलो कि बॉस हमें रेस दे दो इजी इजी थिंग राइट बट इफ यू ट्रेडिंग अगर आप एक लाख रुपए से ट्रेड कर रहे हो तो आपका सिर्फ एक सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक ही मकसद होना चाहिए कि बॉस मैं सीख रहा हूँ मैं अच्छा ट्रेडर बनूंगा ताकि मैं दो साल आगे जाके दस लाख से ट्रेड करो या फिर पचास लाख से ट्रेड करो या फिर एक करोड़ से ट्रेड करो राइट बिकॉज अगर आप अगर आप एब्सोल्यूट रिटर्न पैसा कितना बनता है सिर्फ वही देखोगे तो यार दो हजार रुपए के लिए इतना टेंशन मत लो यार लाइफ में पॉइंट नहीं है राइट लेकिन आप दस लाख से ट्रेड कर रहे हो और पच्चीस हजार एक्स्ट्रा बन रहा है महीने का तो और वो आपको लग रहा है कि इट इज वर्थ समथिंग ठीक है मैं समझ सकता हूँ लेकिन फिर भी आपका एम होना चाहिए बॉस ये मैं एक सिस्टम बनाऊंगा और मैं दो साल बाद पचास से ट्रेड करूंगा एक से ट्रेड करूंगा शायद मैं प्रोफेशनल ट्रेडर बन जाऊंगा ये अगर आपका एटीट्यूड है तो चलेगा लेकिन आप सिर्फ ट्रेडिंग इसलिए कर रहे हो तो स्टार्टिंग कैपिटल कितना होना चाहिए गौरव आपका क्वेश्चन का आंसर यह है कि स्टार्टिंग कैपिटल उतना होना चाहिए जिससे आप सीख सकते हो मीनिंगफुली okay. अगर आप दस हजार रुपए से स्टार्ट करोगे तो आप कुछ मीनिंगफुली सीख नहीं सकते हो बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन एक तो दस हजार से आप क्या ही ट्रेड कर सकते हो दूसरा ये कि मतलब <coughs> मेरा एक दोस्त था ही वॉज द हेड ऑफ ट्रेडिंग ऑफ डॉयचे बैंक इंडिया बॉन्ड मार्केट राइट आदमी की जब लगती है उसका फील आना उसको फील आना चाहिए नहीं तो वो सीखेगा नहीं राइट कि आपका अगर लॉ है और आपको ऐसा आप सीखे ही क्या तो वो ट्रेडिंग का अमाउंट अमोट करोगे वो उतना होना चाहिए कि उतना ज्यादा भी ना हो कि आपको बहुत गहरा जख्म लगे और आप ट्रेडिंग बंद ही कर दे लेकिन थोड़ा होना चाहिए कि आपको थोड़ा पिंच हो जाए राइट तो मतलब हल्का सा आपको चुभना चाहिए अगर वो नहीं चुभा तो आपको फील नहीं आएगा आप कुछ नहीं सीखोगे अब यार ठीक है यार जो गया वो गया आई थिंक ये आपका लाइन है मेरे ख्याल से जो आप बोलते रहते हो रिस्क उतना लो कि पैसे छप जाए उतना नहीं कि जान चली जाए दिस इज वन ऑफ योर एब्सोल्युटली तो बेसिकली ट्राई टू फाइंड अ नंबर जो आपको थोड़ा सा पेन महसूस हो लेकिन ज्यादा पेन ना महसूस हो वो आपका ट्रेडिंग कैपिटल किस लिए है लर्निंग के लिए एग्जैक्टली exactly. एक बार आप सीख गए उसके बाद आप ट्रेडिंग कैपिटल कैसे डिटरमिन करोगे आपको ये एक्सेल शीट निकालना चाहिए कि आपका टाइम का वर्थ इट है कि नहीं अगर आपका टाइम का वर्थ इट है तो इस एक्सेल शीट इस एक्सेल शीट के पहले सिर्फ और सिर्फ आपका ट्रेडिंग कैपिटल आई एम गोइंग टू लर्न लर्निंग के लिए इतना मुझे फील आता है इतना ज्यादा नहीं है लेकिन अगर आप इसलिए ट्रेड कर रहे हो कि आपका कोई शॉर्ट टर्म इमरजेंसी है आपको लग रहा है मैं घुस के एक साल ट्रेड करके इतना पैसा यार वो नहीं होगा कि ये सीखने में आपको एक दो साल आराम से लग जाएंगे <laughs> तो स्टार्ट तो क्योंकि ये 2020 में ना कोविड पोस्ट कोविड में बहुत ट्रेडर्स घुस गए अंदर जिनको लगता है कि हजार रुपए डाला उसको हम लोग एक लाख रुपए बना सकते हैं एक लाख रुपए डाला तो एक करोड़ बना सकते हैं ऑल थैंक्स टू सम स्क्रीनशॉट्स दैट डू द राउंड्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया एज वेल एंड मेरे को नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मेरा उसमें आने वाला है आगे मैं पूछने वाला हूँ आपको की आपने ये चीज तो देखा रहेगा वॉज दैट द रीजन की आपने जो नया फीचर अपने सेंसिबल में डाला है वेरीफाइड एम का Because आप भी तो देखते रहोगे कि भाई हमने भी ट्रेड किया है हम तो इतना कोई बना रहे नहीं है और यहाँ तो लोग रोज तीस लाख चालीस लाख पचास लाख कुछ लोग तो करोड़ों में डाल रहे हैं रोज के हिसाब से सो वॉज दिस रीजन पीपल टूटलीटलीबल स्टिल we never asked a client in the last 5 years to buy sensible right it is entirely pull driven people buy it because they like it uh, hmm. and 
we don't convince ki boss ye kar lo aapka life badal jayega we've never done that right and i'm incredibly proud of, proud of a team who stood by that right and investors who stood by that vision saying that ki boss like uh, you know uh, hum we'll try to do good for retail investors in the long run right now um, the so because of that we had this luxury um ki um jo kare wo jo mein hum karenge because we are not answerable to any vc so technically rain yeah. matter is the only other investor in uh, sensible other than me and uh, rain matter said ki i don't we don't want a board seat ki tum chalao tumhari company right so basically you know like uh, somehow i became the lifetime dictator of <laughs> sensible so i decided ki boss okay basically ne kam karenge vc yeah. investment nahi hai to return nahi chahiye we'll try to do impact right and it is incredible see once you do lose the desire for money it is astonishing the things yes. you can pull off right and and like uh, so uh, basically then we did, then we start i generally started joining twitter and i realized ki was yahan pe to sab scam chal rahe hai and honestly right i have no qualms admitting it anywhere everybody is you know after the life of poor retailer and you know sucking their blood dry right and i was like mm-hmm. right and the worst thing is i find one of my family members in one of these telegram groups and i'm like boss <laughs> ये क्या चल रहा है वॉट आई यू तो ये नहीं नहीं तुम्हारा तो सिर्फ थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट रिटर्न ही है बट यहाँ पे तो पैसा डबल ट्रिपल है नहीं नहीं प्रूव कैसे कर सकते हैं ट्विटर एंड समी सेट की वी होप देर वॉज पी एन एल वेरिफिकेशन लाइक ओके सो देन आई रियलाइज की Uh, you know, no broker can do it alone, right? Because all the scammers will go to other brokers. But if there is a platform which is on all brokers, they can do it, right? Now the problem is if there is a broker. So here's the thing, right? If let's say ICICI Direct wanted to invest in, in, in introduce this system alone, and you say that okay, we are going to the day you are a business, and bad guys also bring a lot of customers. Say, boss, here is my referral. I don't think you do that, but you know, generally. अब आप कर दिए तो आपका तो मतलब दुकान बंद हो जाएगा बॉस की मतलब सारे टिप्सर बोले कि नहीं नहीं आईसीआईसी में अकाउंट नहीं खोल लेगा राइट कहीं और पे जाके खोल लेगा सेंसिबल हैज ऑल सिक्स बिगेस्ट ब्रोकर्स इन इंडिया एंड नाउ द टू अदर टॉप एट ब्रोकर्स आर आल्सो टाइंग विद दिस राइट तो माय प्रॉब्लम इज कि यार जाओगे तो कहां जाओगे हम वहां पे भी आ जाएंगे आपके पास तो वी सेट अप अ रोड ब्लॉक एंड नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज दिस राइट लेट्स से देयर इज अ ब्रोकर आउटसाइड द सिस्टम Right outside the system of the top eight brokers in India, and there's a scammer who's trying to put screenshots in that thing. Right, so people can ask, "Why are you in this? Why are you not on the best eight biggest brokers?" Catch them like this. So now that broker also has an incentive to die up with sensible. That oh, me, so my, you know, my, my in-house scammer, people don't trust me. They will also go with me. Now, one cross broker platform says that I'm going to verify everybody. Then suddenly there's a lot of conflict, mm. and there's no conflict of interest, right? Because we yeah. don't get money when users trade because we have a subscription model and half the things are anyway free or mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. let's say one broker <coughs> alone did transparent pnl verification system they might have an incentive to promote a referral partner who gives them more business right but because we are a neutral party and that's the thing right the beauty of it is that a pnl verification system cannot be done by a broker because of too much conflict of interest potentially right because all the big brokers nice brokers ethical brokers brokers like you etc who are always under the watch of so i have worked with icic system right i have also partnered with icic direct i know how honest the compliance and auditing systems of icic direct and icic yeah. because scam nahi ho sakta yaar like main ek bar when i was 26 i accidentally forgot booking like a euro dollar trade and i almost next day i would have met chanda coach if it was not resolved in time so for a disciplinary action kya bhool gaya tha legit bhool gaya tha because i took a 3 million dollar trade i had to book it in a system called murex uh, somehow just after that day i got another call for booking another trade and i did not hit the save as like there is a final entry in that murex system right okay, okay. By okay. seven p.m., I get a call from ICICI headquarters asking, "There is three million dollar missing from your system. So three three million euros missing from your book, right?" And I'm like, "Oh, I know this." <laughs> and I had to I had to stay <laughs> till twelve in the midnight, and I fixed everything, and you know, I escaped disciplinary action. But I know how strict the systems in a proper bank or a big broker or something which is constantly monitored by SEBI is. So big okay. brokers won't do scam, but it is possible mm-hmm. that a smaller entity or somebody else. can come into the system and say ki dekho hamare yahan to sab bro users ke chapre screenshot dekho screenshot right? that can happen right and they can tie up with a scammy advisor or a trader and do that right but because yes. we are an entity which is tied up with all the registered brokers 
because we are a semi registered ra because we are subject to so much compliance or we realize that we are in a unique position of privilege surely by luck to do this which nobody else is willing to do right and we thought ki okay mm. let's do this and like we thought ki okay paise bane na bane we don't care hit ho na ho we don't care but tomorrow if some trainer or a you know stock market tipster comes and says ki dekho mere piche bentley kada hai i must have made all this money from trading nahi some people have to ask him nahi boss batao apne verified pnl bentley mat dikhao i don't that's right bentley came from right like you could have sold courses and i have a like i have a guy in my office right he was about to join one of these courses for 80000 rupees and he like i asked him why are you joining he like nahi that guy has a you know Uh, what is that? BMW 5 Series must be a good trader. I'm telling you, there are just so many people who will get that BMW 5 Series price, hai, right? Because eighty thousand into that, I'm telling you, and then he's like, oh yeah, that is true. I'm like, dude, are you not thinking? What are you? But people do that, right? Unfortunately, like somebody takes the greed. sorry, the greed which is there in the user himself who is, wants to. Absolutely, and these symbols of you know wealth, right? Do rich people? Sudha Murthy, Narendra Murthy's wife drives an Alto, right? And they are beyond this, dude. They can buy South Bangalore as a whole and then have jump change left to buy parts of Koramangala, but 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 they don't, right? And she drives an Alto, right? And then there are these boys and girls on Instagram who are saying, "Hey, they come here for series. Hey, they come here for Mercedes. Come join my trading club." <laughs> And then there was another dude, right, on verified. I mean, sorry, on Twitter. And by some, he used to print one two crores every day according to his screenshot. And I'm like doing the numbers. One two crore every day. Sal ka two hundred trading days. But the Aram se four hundred crore nikal raha hai aadmi ka. Bhai, aap Twitter pe kya kar rahe hai? Aap four thousand ka weekly. But the four, jo aadmi four hundred crore banta hai, he is also training people for four thousand rupees a weekend, right? Fifteen thousand rupees, twenty thousand rupees a weekend. Aap five thousand weekend nikal lo sal ke. और आप बीस हजार निकाल रहे आपका कितना बन रहा है यार एक करोड़ दो करोड़ एक्स्ट्रा बना जो आदमी चार चार सौ करोड़ बना रहा है उसको वन टू करोड़ में क्या फर्क पड़ेगा बस सो एक्टली यार मतलब दिवाली पे था सेम सीन राइट एंड आप बोल रहे हो कि यार नहीं ये मैं लोगों को हेल्प कर लोगों को हेल्प करो चलो फ्री में कर दो यार यूट्यूब पे वेबिनार कर दो ये सब मत करो राइट कि अगर आप ट्रूली इफ यूर एबल टू हेल्प पीपल बस फ्री में पॉडकास्ट कर दो राइट ये मतलब ये मत बोलो कि मैं साल का 400 करोड़ छाप रहा हूँ और मैं साइड में मतलब लोगों को 20,000 का वेबिनार ले रहा हूँ एंड देन वी स्टार्ट टू गो तो नाउ आई गॉट जेन्युइनली क्यूरियस कि बॉस देखते हैं कि आई में लेजिट है कि नहीं एंड आई टेल यू डोट After launching verified by Sensible PNL screenshot three days back on Twitter, it's been crazy, right? It's a wildfire. Everybody is doing it, right? And I think uh, we are doing it on ICICI Direct also in the next one week or so. Yes, yes. Right? We're doing with with us as well. Yeah. Now the catch is, uh, if you are you know such a big trader, you should have not no problem with verify. And I realized that in the last seven days, right? In the last seven days, number of people who posting profit screenshot is almost zero. One person who is a trainer, one person has posted his screenshot. That's it. इससे पहले हजारों लोग, हजारों की तादाद में यार देखो मेरा, देखो मेरा दो करोड़, तीन लाख, लाख, चालीस लाख. And अभी जो people are saying and people are like making jokes on it. Right? Somebody is saying Nirmala Sitharaman called Abid and said, "Don't do this to India's economy. It's so much taxes." अभी क्या चल रहा है बस तो मेरा. I saw I saw those comments on your post. Absolutely. Those were one of the hilarious comments that you are receiving post post the launch of Verify. So yeah, because there are many like no viewers. Yeah, there are viewers who are saying that option trading का बात करो. तो जो लोग देख रहे हैं हमें हम लोग की जो आपको बता रहे हैं ये सबसे important चीज़ है because do there are do's and there are don'ts. And option trading में don'ts बहुत ज़्यादा है do's से. आपको capital कितना रखना है, आपको drawdown कितना रखना है, आपको social media में कहाँ किसी tipster के पास नहीं जाना है, पसना नहीं है तो ये सब चीजें अगर आप करोगे तो बहुत ज़्यादा exactly कहीं भी नहीं जाना है so अब इधर few questions that I have because मेरे को you have been a seasoned trader for 13 years so how do you approach trading because आजकल क्या है ना options में लोगों को पता है कि call ले लो put ले लो काम हो गया पर आपने एक जगह पे बोला है कि there are 14 different scenarios in the market that exist और उन 14 different scenarios को अगर आप उसको trade करने के लिए आपको अलग अलग strategies deploy करनी है options की so if I ask Correct. you how do you make your decisions अगर आपको कल trade करना है तो what are the data points you look at so I'll I'll tell you something very interesting okay so I'm going to assume that I have a full time job right and it's a very demanding full time job in the sense that I so running sensible takes almost 10 to 12 hours of my day every day every time and then side my Twitter share share and get all of that takes more time right <laughs> and and now the thing is 
so i am going to look at myself as a person with a full time job who has limited amount of time to trade i am also going to assume that most jitne bhi log ye show dekh rahe hain wo bhi are people jinka full time job hai jinke paas zyada time nahi hai trade karne ke liye ab ye do constraints mein rakh lunga to ab full time involved trade nahi kar sakte ho jiska matlab ek simple matlab bana कि आप छोटे छोटे मूव ट्रेड तो नहीं कर सकते हो इंट्राडे इंट्राडे तो आपका रोल आउट हो गया राइट कि फुल टाइम जॉब और इंट्राडे ट्रेडिंग तो नहीं चलेगा और आपको ऐसे भी ट्रेड नहीं करना चाहिए कि जिससे आपका वर्क एफेक्टेड हो जाए बिकॉज तब तो यू हैव बिगर प्रॉब्लम्स राइट कि आपका वर्क खत्म नहीं होगा आपका बॉस विल बी अनहैपी आपका प्रमोशन रुक जाएगा फिर पीपल इन ऑफिस वो आदमी ट्रेड करता रहता है उसको काम में कोई इट्स अ रिस्क राइट पीपल डोंट सी यार अल्टीमेटली यू डू वेल एट योर जॉब यू कैन गेट समेर इन लाइफ राइट बिकॉज because people who are sincere in their job eventually make a lot of money it takes time but they do do really really well in life right so you can't do trading to the point it affects your job right unless your job is trading right so if your job agar aapka job trading nahi hai so you have to choose a trading style which allows you to trade without too much involvement now the most important thing and if it's, it's a single biggest takeaway from this entire thing if you want to you know have one takeaway is you are bahut infrequently trade karo right so last week right after verification of sensible i took a couple of trades only to show people ki yaar mera bhi dekh lo sab kuch hai right generally like one two lot for fun but my rule even there is i'll trade maybe once in a week maybe you know two trades a week or something right that's it nothing more than that because ek to agar aap zyada zyada trade karoge to matlab bahut matlab bewakoofi ho jati hai yaar over trading ho jata hai over trading is the single biggest reason why people lose money that is the one thing अब सेकेंड थिंग ये है कि अगर आप इतना इनफ्रिक्वेंटली ट्रेड कर रहे हो तो आपको ऐसे ट्रेड करने चाहिए जिसमें आपको बहुत श्योरिटी है क्योंकि सी अब अगर आप इनफ्रिक्वेंटली ट्रेड करते हो तो आप बराबर मतलब इन आउट नहीं कर सकते हो जल्दी जल्दी स्टॉप लॉस नहीं लगाते हो तो आपको ऐसे ट्रेड पिक करना है जिसमें आप काफी श्योर हो मतलब आप अगर फ्रीक्वेंटली ट्रेड करते हो इवन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी बेट्स यू कैन टेक With a quick tight stop loss, sixty forty भी आप ले सकते हो with a yeah. tight stop loss. लेकिन अगर आपको market देखने का time नहीं है, तो you have to take eighty percent, ninety percent surety trades with infrequent frequency, right? Which also means you need an extremely simple system which doesn't depend on too many things, right? And this is very important. So I do, and and I'm I'm serious, right? So I can also do some sophisticated stuff, bring in three indicators and four moving averages, and then mix it with some micro indicators. Yeah. नहीं करना यार ये सब राइट यार नहीं करना ये हम यार ये सब कुछ करते थे प्रॉपर्टीज में वेगा निकाल के डूड आई हैव ट्रेडेड सेकंड ऑर्डर ग्रीक्स एंड आईसीआईसी बैंक ओके आई किड यू नॉट वी शुड ट्रेड वोल्गा एंड ऑल राइट बट यार वो नहीं कर सकते अब राइट दिस इज नो पॉइंट इन डूइंग ऑल दैट तो सिस्टम सिंपल रखो एंड आई आई एंड दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल एग्जांपल आई गिव राइट सो वंस आई हैड अ बाइक ट्रिप फ्रॉम केरला टू हिमाचल प्रदेश राइट एंड आई टुक एन एनफील्ड ओल्ड जनरेशन एनफील्ड राइट the good thing was that even when it broke down in a village in maharashtra the dude who was sitting on the road side knew how to replace the clutch cable are i knew how to replace the clutch cable because it's a very simple system nothing sophisticated if i was hmm. if i had a bmw motorrad bike or a ducati or something right yaar main maharashtra jaunga in pimpri chimchwad i mean pimpri is at least an industrial hub if i break down somewhere in nasik people are boss kya hai ye wiring kya electronics hai so you have to keep your sim- system simple so that you can easily see what is going on so i have a, and because because all these sophisticated indicators right they are they are complex to understand and more importantly complex to debug right it's very difficult for a simple trader to understand it so i limit my trading to three things very simple three things ek main chart dekhta hu right i just look at chart every day i look at chart three time frames daily dekhta hu weekly dekhta hu monthly dekhta hu aur kuch nahi dekhta i don't look at hourly chart nothing once in a while rarely i look at it because i am trading infrequently chart point number one. Yeah. second thing is i again not promoting sensible i hope not even going to open a screen of sensible here but open interest data on nifty bank nifty right i look at open interest data of nifty bank nifty every day especially at around 315 i see what is more calls or puts in today's uh, scenario right if aaj ka but okay. because it is illustrative and because anyway you put my name and all i'll just show you one screen right i just look at this screen right this is the open interest screen this is sensible you can also get it on icici direct um, icici we have we are partnered with sensible we have a section sensible strategies you can build on the icici direct platform so or you can go to sensible you guys watching you want to get yeah right so <laughs> so here's the thing right i look at this right i look at what is the open interest action <clears throat> if open interest action mm-hmm. is more puts than calls 
आई कंसिडर इट इज बुलिश अदरवाइज इट इज बेरिश जैसे कि अभी आप देख रहे हो ऑपरेटर फॉर द स्पीक राइट आफ्टर एटीन फाइव हंड्रेड देर आर हार्डली एनी कॉल्स But after below eighteen four hundred, there are so many of these green bars which are puts. So I also look at this. So right now my view based on this is market bagega because both sare log put page ke khade call me kuch nahi hai. It is very easy to break and go on upside, right? Also I look okay. at chart simply because you know chart me samaj me aata hai ki boss kya ja raha hai. Two two things in the system. There's one last thing I look at, and for my personal trading I don't do anything more sophisticated. Three things works beautifully. Like that, Gyan I gave you, right? I traded for fun, 20L, hmm. like beginning of this year. Yeah. Because I'm purely using only this. The last thing I look at is FII data. This is also a publicly available data. NSE publishes it. You can access it on Sensible. I think even ICICI Direct site has it. <coughs> Now, yes. Let's see. Look, what is FII doing? Are they buying call, buying put, or futures? So basically, here you can see that on Friday they were buying a lot of puts. They sold futures. <coughs> so FII is a little bit looking negative. But largely they have got more calls than puts. Calls than puts. So basically, ये conflicting हो गया ना. तो यहाँ पे ज़्यादा calls है, which means it is bullish. But Friday को ज़्यादा puts लिया, तो थोड़ा bearish. And futures में 2000 करोड़ short किया, तो थोड़ा bearish. But net net open interest is positive on FA. तो see, this is a conflicting signal. But sometimes you get signals where chart is strong, open interest is strong, FA data is also strong. Everything is green. I take a trade. Right. If there is a conflict, I'm like, hmm, they click there. So basically, I form a market view up or down based on this. That is my first part of the trade. Okay. The second part of my trade okay. is, now trade to ho gaya. Next thing is, ki kaun sa instrument kare. Right. So my simple yes. idea is, majority of the time, I don't do buy options. Right. Simply because okay. if you are buying options, right, you have to get the timing right. Ki agar aap weekly option le rahe ho, to problem hai ki aapka jo bhi view hai, wo isi week mein sahi hona chahiye. Right, so you have to be right within a short time interval. So you are not only trying to time the direction, you are also trying to time the market car timing. Like you have to get the direction right and yes. timing right. Yeah, two things you are taking care of. Whereas, my uh, so, if you think that eighteen five hundred cross has crossed, now your view is that eighteen five hundred will be above, and eighteen eight hundred eventually will go. There are two ways to do this. Right, one is hmm. you can buy this week car call option. So, what will happen? Eighteen five hundred will be above, but eighteen eight hundred तक नहीं गया मार्केट ये पे घूमता फिरता रह गया तो आपका पूरा पैसा गया कॉल का राइट बिकॉज यू हैव टू गेट द टारगेट विद इन अ वीक द अदर थिंग यू कैन डू इज आई कैन सेल दिस वीक और दिस मंथ का पुट ऑप्शन तो अगर आपका स्ट्रांग रीजन है कि 8500 के ऊपर ही रहेगा लेकिन कब 8800 जाएगा वो मेरे को आईडिया नहीं है तो देन यू आर बेटर ऑफ सेलिंग अ पुट एंड होल्डिंग एंड वैसे भी आप यू आर नॉट डूइंग द इंटरडे ट्रेडिंग राइट यू हैव अ टाइम तो मंथली होल्ड कर दो अगर नहीं गया 1800 800 तो भी आपका 200 पॉइंट प्रीमियम मिल गया 200 point premium on one lot is 200 into 50. कितना होता है? 10,000. 10,000 है. Yeah. Okay. On a margin of like one and a half lakh is not bad here. It's like monthly you are making actually more than 10, 8 percent, right? 8 percent क्या समझ? That is इसको consistently करो अगर monthly 12 महीने हैं देख लो. But obviously oh, that is not. I form a view based on the market yes. and execute the view using a slightly longer term put option. And sometimes I hit stop loss and get out if I'm wrong. But most of the time I buy a hedging leg and product. This is the only thing I do. Okay. Keep it extremely simple. Okay. So guys who are watching us, someone who is who has his own options trading platform says that I'm naked CP buying. I'm not doing. I have my I have keep my things simple. First thing is trading. Me, that thing is simple. Keep. You have a chart. Hai, open interest data. And you have option chain data. FII and DII data. Those three things are the seasoned trader is doing. वो ना कोई बड़े ईएमए इंडिकेटर्स या सुपर ट्रेंड या जो भी इतने एक्सोटिक चीजें लगा रहे हैं वो कुछ नहीं है वो कहते हैं ना कि हमारा हमारा जो मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव पैसे बनाना है सिस्टम को कॉम्प्लिकेट करना नहीं अगर आपका पैसा सिंपल सिस्टम से बन रहा है तो आप वही रखो ना अल्टीमेट गोल सबको पैसे ही बनाना तो दैट इज वॉट यूर डूइंग एंड इम्पोर्टेंटली सेइंग नेकेड सीपी बाइंग नहीं कर रहे जब भी व्यू बन रहा है तो ठीक है तो अगर आप लोग को ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग करना है तो प्लीज आप सीपी के सिर्फ उसको नेकेड बाइंग के जगह पे आप ऑप्शन स्ट्रेटेजीज और वो सब एक्सप्लोर कीजिए वी डू दिस मतलब आईसीआईसीड डूइंग दिस फ्रॉम पास टू वीक्स एवरी सैटरडे इलेवन एम जहां पे हम डिस्कस करते हैं और मेजरली वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आर स्ट्रेटेजीज ओनली So, I am not saying that CP buy must do. In the sense that, ah, sometimes, sometimes do. That also is required. But 
लाइक यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी श्योर कि एक दो दिन के अंदर मार्केट भागेगा इफ यू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग रीजनिंग राइट ऑफकोर्स यस राइट बिकॉज वंस इन वाइल यू हैव टू डू समथिंग वेरी रिस्की बिकॉज नो नो गेन नो 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 विनिंग राइट लाइक फॉर्च्यून फेयर्स ब्रीव ऑल ऑफ दिस इज ट्रू बट इफ यू आर हैबिचुअली बाइंग कॉल ऑप्शन पुट ऑप्शन एवरी वीक देन यू आर डूइंग सम और लेट मी पुट इट दिस वे राइट लाइक बाय टू सेल रेशियो इज रफली um 4 is to 1 every four times i sell i try to buy once in fact even less than that right but largely yeah if you are a full time trader intraday aapka aur kuch kaam nahi hai and all maybe option buying might work for you but if you are doing it part time to get it right in options buying purely especially otm hmm. very very difficult i don't know anybody who has made a fortune using otm option buying purely from trading of course by selling courses on otm option buying <laughs> 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 That's there. So with out of 200 days, अगर मैं numbers में बात करने जाऊँ, तो option yeah. buyer versus option seller अगर मैं क्योंकि option buyer भी पैसा बना रहा है, seller भी बना रहा है, but buyer momentum में ज़्यादा पैसा बनाया है. So out of 220 days, आपके हिसाब से yeah. buyer के लिए कितने दिन important है? Because हर दिन तो CP buying नहीं कर सकते ना आप लोग. यार वो छोड़ो. मैं बोलूँगा buying के लिए छोड़ दो. आप अगर trader भी हो, 200 200 दिन है ना साल के. आप trader हो, आप उस 200 दिन में more than uh, Uh, 30-40 days if you are trading, you are doing it wrong. Trading ही करो यार, मत करो यार 30-40 मतलब outside 30-40 days, right? कभी-कभी trade करो, अच्छा opportunity मिलता है trade करो, right? कि मतलब ये okay. क्या है कि आप हर दिन trade लोगे, right? Market कभी-कभी आपको चाहे, so I'll मैं classic example बताता हूँ, right? कि uh, मैंने uh, last to last week 18-200 के आसपास, इन्द last to last week नहीं, last week 18-200 के आसपास एक call spread ले रखा था. 18300, 18800 का कॉल्स रेट, राइट? ले रखा था, अभी भी है, वो चलता रहेगा, दिसंबर लास्ट में देखेंगे। राइट? डेट इस माय, एंड देन, यू नो, लास्ट वीक आई टूक वन मोर ट्रेड, बैंक निफ्टी सम कॉल्स रेट, डेट्स इट, आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टच इट रेगी, कि मतलब है, वो चलेगा, मेरे कॉल्स रेट गिव्स यू लाइक क्या करना है आपको मार्केट ब्रेक ब्रेक आउट दे चुका है राइट 8200 से 8300 पॉइंट्स आर ऑलरेडी द मनी मे बी इफ यू आर लकी एक और 300 400 पॉइंट आएगा अब जो है उसको राइड करो आप और नए ट्रेड लेके मत आओ सो दैट इज नंबर 1 नो बियर टू सेलर योर रेशियो क्वेश्चन राइट सी इफ यू आर इन अ ब्रेक आउट एंड इफ यू आर अ ब्रेक आउट ट्रेडर राइट यू मोस्ट प्रोबेबली विल बी बाइंग ऑप्शंस बट हियर इज द कैच ब्रेक आउट्स डोंट हैपन ऑफन दे हैपन रेयरली सो uh see if you have a brilliant system which detects every breakout 100% of the time then of course all your trades should be buy options but aisa koi system hota nahi hai so i mean it's difficult to answer your question uh i i can confidently say that if you're trading you should trade very rarely right <clears throat> you should not trade every day 100% yes right even if you're trading more than 50% i i can 100% say that if there are 10 trading day 20 trading days in a month if you're trading more than 15 days you are doing it wrong you're chasing wrong opportunities You are also mentally burning yourself out, right? And stress is heavy, right? And of course, if you are always engaged in the system, you don't get big picture. You don't look back and see and say, "Or a perspective name will be given to you." So obviously, you shouldn't do that. Um, buying versus selling, tough man. I I really don't know. Depends on what kind of a trader you are. Okay, so you would not. Obviously, the more because it depends on the person. But no matter what, don't trade all days. Yeah. Don't trade. So, uh, we'll take few questions from our audience because yeah, sure. we are almost yeah, at the sure. end because it's. Kuch questions hai. Yep. Yeah. Uh, not someone is asking best hedge strategy. What would be the best hedge strategy? I don't know what how to answer this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, first of all, a lot of investors, retail investors, especially think there's a the best strategy. The answer to that question is there is no best strategy. right <clears throat> basically your strategy depends entirely on what your market view is in a trending market in a massively uptrending market of course buying naked calls is the best strategy in a range bound market a call spread is the best strategy in a <clears throat> so in a range bound market a iron condor is the best strategy maybe a naked straddle but because of the margin consideration iron condor will be a best strategy uh yes. it really depends so if you are a beginner but i'll answer a question from a beginner's perspective If you are a beginner and you think market will is going up, try to do uh, call spreads, bull call spreads. Market is going up a little bit. If you are a beginner and you don't think uh, market is going anywhere and it is range bound, do iron condors, right? So I'll I'll quickly show you easy way to do this. Uh, again, because you know I don't use anything else and this is the only thing in which I can show this stuff. 
Uh, again, you can, okay, fine. you can do this in ICICI Direct. Uh, so if you're a beginner, right, and if you're bullish, try to do bull call spread. If you think that 2-3% market, try to do this, right? The reason why I like this strategy is this gives you a better reward than the reward. reward, right? This is for sure a good strategy. If you think the market will go up, it won't fall, but it won't fall, then do bull put spread. Right, which is this strategy. This is saying that it will go up, but it will not fall down. Similarly, if you are bearish, you are saying that it will go up, then do bear put spread. You can see, right? 7,000 ka profit, 2,000 ka loss. Bear call spread is saying that it will go up, but it will not fall down, but it will not fall down. This is giving you 4 to 6k. Right, finally, if you are neutral, you can do iron condor, which is range bound rega, uh, and pese rega. Under no circumstance, if you are a beginner, I would say you should do a naked option. Naked selling to bilkul nahi karna because agar aap trend ke against ho aur bhaag gaya to aapka unlimited loss hoga. So always try to stick to spreads which is bull call spread, bull put spread, bear put spread, bear call spread and iron condors if you are neutral. So there's no best strategy but if you are a beginner these are the most uh, risk managed safe strategies for a beginner's risk profile. Okay, I think uh, we've covered almost everything. Uh, how to what what should be the system? Capital we have covered. Kar liye. Hedge stand like strategies. Jo aap dal rahe ho. Breakout trader ho to aap jao, ya to aap hedge mein ho. Um, any last things, Abhi, that you would want to tell our retail investors, especially the ones who are there? I, I would say one thing, right? See, the, the thing is this, right? And this is again coming from a point of personal pain because I also lost money trading when I was uh, younger, right? Now to I hardly trade, and you know, uh, but here's the thing. So, Naval Ravikant is like a very famous guy. I think he was the founder of Angel. Angel, Angel is his, right? Naval, very famous handle on Twitter. He says some, something, right? And this is one of my favorite quotes. Everybody knows how to get rich. But they don't get rich because they want to get rich quickly. Right? And, and that's a very significant thing, right? So, in, in fact, in my old house, right? There's a classic example. So, I, I have always been like a risk taker, gambler, always trying new things, trying to do something or the other. I have an elder brother, an amazing guy. Stuck to the same job for 21 years, right? 21 years, he stuck to the same job and did incredibly well at work and progressed in a career path. There is not much of a difference in lifestyle between my lifestyle and his lifestyle, right? He also built wealth meticulously, patiently, peacefully by doing one thing over and over again very well and sticking to the same thing which he did, right? I tried a hundred things and one time I got lucky in the lottery, right? But I mean, paths change, but we are, we are both having similar lives. We are both very happy and fortunate with what will happen to us in our lives. The key thing is, the difference I want to highlight is that um, if you want to build the wealth in the long term, it is possible in the long term without taking too much risks also, right? You can steadily invest in an SIP every month and become wealthy over time, right? You can always keep investing in mutual funds, ETFs, etc., and build money over time. You can also trade options and create wealth if you are patient about making this 30% every year. If you make 30% every year, 1.3 to the power of 10 is a very, very big, very big number. How much is that? I yes. Sorry, I, I, at the time I was writing cat, I could have told you this number right away. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I, I it's been 2007. 15 no, years. Uh, yeah, it's been 15 years. I'm not good at math anymore. <laughs> but, but yeah. Also, cat okay. is around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eventually, eventually you can become really wealthy if you're patient right so yes my yes. only 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 advice to you know people who are trying to because all of us are here to make money right nobody trades up we are not here you know options to do something else we are not here for enlightenment or you know self-discovery we are here to make money the catch is if you are planning to make money if you are patient it is possible to create a lot of wealth right People lose money in trading because they want to do it quickly. So if you are a trader, do not look at the outcome. Do not look at that I have next year BMW. Think that I have to make 30% banana hai, and at the end of one year, I will reflect if I made 30% or not, if I learned something or not, if I became a better trader or not, not how much money I made. And if you keep on repeating the process, right? Five years from now, you'll be amazed at what kind of results you can bring. 
right? Because the, the sad part is this, right? And, and we are living in a very bad world of crash everything. So I, I recently, I, I was telling you, right? Like I was sort of break from gym in, uh, you know, uh, yeah. for five years and I recently joined back, right? And I, like, I haven't, I have been hitting the gym for like a month almost consistently now. I haven't really lifted anything heavy, right? All I'm focusing is on core strengthening, stretches, all of that. And I told my trainer, ki, boss, dekho, mere ko ek month mein result nahi chahiye. Mere ko do month mein result nahi chahiye. If you are making me do the right thing, if you are making me invest in the process, I'm going to come to you two years from now also. And I'm going to probably do this for the rest of my life. I don't want to, like, for example, crash diets, right? Keto diet, GM diet, all of that. You lose five kilos in a week. Uske baat kya, yaar? You're not, you're not doing something which is sustainable, right? So anything in which you make money quickly, anything where you lose weight quickly, or you start to look good, better quickly, anything like that, it doesn't sustain. You have to use your time to build something which you can take with you, where there's a learning, you can sustain and eventually become better. Please do not be in a hurry, focus on your process and not on your outcomes. This is the only thing I'd like to say as a parting word. Basically take, like, go for consistency, don't go for sporadic jokes in your no, profit. Like, if you can just build it. It's like, you know, my favorite quote from Bhagavad Gita, do the, do the right thing, don't look for the outcome. Absolutely. So, so viewers who are watching us, please, yeah, don't go for 21 din mein paise double ya us, that type of scheme. Take things slowly and build over time and you definitely will be successful and rich. That's so yeah, Abit, thank you so much for joining us today and it was such an yeah, such a pleasure you. to host you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Garo. Thanks, ICIC Direct for hosting me. Thank you, thank you. You have a great day.